military and the police to engine the property, so there's not much we can do to, there's not much we can do to even know who's inside, etc. So as soon as, in fact, we've been waiting all day for clearance to go there, and uh, as soon as, as soon as that happens, uh, we will do that. In the meantime, of course, we we move as many people as we can to the hospitals. Uh, both Mr. Krishna Kumar and I will visit the hospitals, visit the people that are there. But it's a very, very sad situation because uh, the fires have gone on before. Before on your official records, what are the uh, uh amount of people that you think have uh, lost their lives, both on the company rolls and your guests? We don't really know. We're, Sir, uh, we're getting our information from you. Have you been able to establish how these terrorists gained entry? Any confirmation on how that happened? No, we we must assume that they they seem to know their way around the the back office and the back, back part of the hotel very well, the kitchen and so on. So one assumes that there has been a considerable amount of detailed planning in, in this exercise. What's the latest are coming out from inside? What are you hearing from within the hotel right now? Because there seems to be another We're not reason hearing anything battle. because uh, the authorities are in the hotel. And the last time our people came out of the hotel was in these waves of evacuation, and which was about 8 o'clock in the morning. I think after that we haven't had anybody that we know that's come out of the hotel. There are still residents inside the hotel? Yes, there are. Any, any number we can put in? No, we, uh, we don't know again. Some, some have, have come, come out, out. Some, some are still in their rooms. Uh, some have uh, been banging on the glass to get out. It's, it's quite, and, and I must say that we feel rather helpless because uh, we are, in fact, out of the property. Right, sir, and any compensation package that you're planning for the company employees at least, sir, who yeah. valiantly, you know, fought along with the guests who made sure that, uh, you know... See, all I want to say is uh, our staff have, excuse me, really been courageous. They have helped the guests to the best of our knowledge. We, we will do whatever we can in the way we normally do, and we will not be stingy, obviously. We, we will reward and compensate for the hardship. So how are you communicating to the, uh, to the employees' families, We have, sir? have no way of communicating at has, the present Has the special forces that have now taken over the hotel been able to communicate to you how long it will take to be able to flush out the estimated number of terrorists inside? Well, again, I can only say that uh, on, on the media at 4 o'clock it said that they would be, they expected this would end in half an hour. But, you know, I think even for them to make an estimate of how long it would take to fight the, uh, the terrorists is... Is the entire hotel engulfed or is there any part of the hotel that is still safe? You're asking questions as though we've been in there and made an assessment. As I said, we have not been able to. We've been evacuated from the hotel. And, and sir, as a company policy, what is the way forward, sir? Exactly, how do you plan to deal with the situation, which seems to be out of control right now, sir? It is. It is out of control in the sense that we have no knowledge of what it, it's. It's being handled by the authorities, and uh, our assessment will only be after we enter, speak to our people, understand what did happen. We have no, we have no contact with And so the state government building building is a lot. What are they telling you? Sir? Sorry? So the state government machinery, what is the kind of support they're giving you? What are they telling you? What is the plan forward along with uh... See, oh, I can't comment on that except to say that it became very clear to me and to Mr. Krishna Kumar last night that we still don't have a crisis infrastructure in place in the city. Mr. Dada, have you spoken to anybody from the UPA, the Prime Minister or the Home Minister? Have you spoken with you directly about no. the state of affairs? No. I know this is a secondary worry on your mind, but the Taj is a loved building of yes. all Mumbai cars. Yeah. Any assessment of the damage that the building has suffered, both because of the violence as well as the fire? Please understand, uh, how am I to make that, uh, make that assessment? I have only seen the building on television. Mr. Tatal, at last the last question. count, how many guests were there? Sorry? At the last count, how many guests were there last evening? There were 460. 460. Last question, please.
attention as soon as something happens. We still don't have that in place. My message is that unless, if we are having this kind of environment to live with, we need an infrastructure that will cope with this. If we don't have this, we will be subjected to a great deal of uh, a lack of protection for the citizens. People have gotten killed that were absolutely innocent. People got killed on the road. People have gotten killed in the hotel. Guests who have been innocent have been killed. Our staff members have lost their loved ones. All of this, I think, could have been minimized. But it's easy to say everyone is doing their best, but it's not coming together fast enough. You were not in town, so you flew in this morning? Is no, no, I've start? been in town. I've been oh, up all night. Okay. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.